new surface area. Let's go. Yeah. I love being totally lost. That's great. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just here for the ride. I'm actively yeah. looking for places on the dock that are close. You are the absolute goat. I, I swear. <laughs> yeah, this was my theory. You would go 40 or 35 on this. Oh, nailed it. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, so you guys feel that? Yeah. I thought it was just the bumps, but no, it's the accelerator. <laughs> yeah. see any vehicle reflections in the window over there? No. Okay, because in, uh, in last October in San Francisco, there was a, like a big window on an office building and you could see the cars that were next to us like reflected in that window as cars displayed on the visual. So it was, it was kind of interesting watching that. And there's been times when a reflection was just perfect enough to make the car think a scooter was about to jump out in front of it. Oh, so wow. it slams on the brakes. Um, but just based on like a window reflection. So I wonder what they have to deal with when it comes to reflections and that sort of idea. One thing I want to do is get a stop sign t-shirt and stand near the depot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, I think uh, somebody did a, a TikTok of that, with the Waymo stop sign in a random place. Mm -hmm. that, we, got, we gotta replicate that. I feel like you could cause chaos immediately standing outside the tempo with that on. <laughs> don't try that at home. No, we... Uh, <laughs> we don't recommend it. For legal reasons, that's a joke. Yeah. Um, so what are like the most interesting spots now in Arizona to test? Mm, Tempe, Tempe downtown. No, but like the actual like parking lots. Um, weird areas like yeah I, I mean well ASU Costco parking lot is always good at certain times of day um freeway gonna be as soon as that is a thing you know we're gonna go to Costco oh. today we're oh, gonna cool. test out the Costco and In-N-Out perfect shop. But that, that's just such a crazy area In-N-Out line plus Costco parking lot yeah who, and gas who decided to <laughs> Costco <laughs> gas as well oh goodness <laughs> that's yeah. always destroyed Last time I was there, the visualization, it completely froze. I don't know if it was like rendering to me. Cars, shopping carts. Oh, wow. Totally froze, huh? Goodness. I never, I've never seen that. Yeah. Have you seen it like get to like a low FPS? Like uh, five maybe. Cause that, that looks like 60 to me up front. It's probably a mix of like uh, 60 and then drops to 50 when it's something. Yeah. It's stuttering a little bit. Though. It looks like the back one isn't 30 though. But, I mean, I only only ever record in, in 30 anyway, so, yeah. Actually, I did do a whole session in 60, but it kind of killed the resolution, so. Oh. Anyway, so close. Not quite. And this truck, though, is just kind of... I'm surprised it didn't blast through. Yeah. I think it should have. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> so much junky stuff today. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, your average rider is not going to like that. But like, no. Yeah. But we are throwing it at all the situations we know is uh, terrible for it. <laughs> but yeah. like random yellow lights definitely should have stopped. Mm -hmm. We're training it. And Phoenix, the uh, yellow lights are like five full seconds, so you can kind of work with it. I've definitely seen some quick stops in, in Phoenix too, and it somehow manages to keep them smooth. Uh, yeah. I wonder if it runs slightly different software to Phoenix. 
good, uh, good point. Yeah. Maybe it's like tuned for LA. Or maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just, you know. But. There could be some aspect to that, I think. Because when Cruz did their five square mile service area in residential Chandler, uh, and we, me and a friend, you know who you are, snuck me in there. Um, that was really fun. Thank you, by the way. Uh, but yeah, we, we tried it out and it seemed like the car was driving with San Francisco in mind. Right. Like it was doing all kinds of San Francisco things in a big wide open neighborhood streets kind of area. Mm -hmm. And it just didn't make any sense. So I, yeah, that's a good point that you bring up. And like laws differ between states as well. Like in Arizona, I noticed the, the carpool lane on the freeway, it never opens up. It's a solid line all the way through that you yeah. can cross anytime you want, right? Exactly. Whereas here, the solid line means no cross and then it will open up to a dash line, which means you can go in. Gosh, the visualization out. has gotten like just so much detail now, like with people moving. Yeah, I'm watching how the, the visual is trying it's trying to separate the people from the wall, but the person is standing right up against the wall. I remember it's, when it was just a dot. <laughs> yeah, it's. They used to have this in the Pacific Coast, but then it disappeared. It's for, a, little bit for a while. Um, but this is actually. It used to. There used to be a lidar pulse on the visual, but once every two seconds, and it would show the entire environment instead of just any objects. Uh, anyway, yeah. So. I'm, I do kind of miss that. Is but. it rendering the trains above us? Probably it is, yeah. Big box, isn't it? Yeah. Well, if you look, it's showing the veil on the ground. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so where are we headed right now? We are headed to the CVS Mini Depot. Ooh. Ooh. Just want to sell me. <laughs> Just worldwide. Oh, as soon as you saw that Waymo coming down, I was like, that's it. Yeah. Found it. <laughs> but, like, seriously, we had no idea that it was going to be a depot. We just yeah. thought, oh, that's an interesting drop off. Let's check it out. Fine. And when I did an interview a couple years ago, they said they would start putting satellite depots everywhere. But seeing yeah. that come to fruition, yeah. I definitely think LA is a city that needs it more than other places. Just because we don't have a lot of space for huge mega complexes. So it makes more sense to have spread out in many areas. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, we had an object in the lane there. Unfortunately, we were in the, in the wrong lane to encounter it. Um, wonder if we'll see any traffic officers direct in traffic today. Ooh, that'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah, your uh, your timing on that was just incredible. It was awesome. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do another poke over to Autonomy Central. If you haven't seen that video and you want to see a crossing guard, not even crossing guard, just like I, I had to look it up. Traffic cop. Yeah, I had to look. <laughs> yeah. I had to look it up to see what they were called because I had no idea myself either. And it's traffic officer apparently. Okay, that makes sense. But, uh, thank you for the plug. <laughs> yes, go check that out. Um, uh, yeah, this is the problem. Because well, the titles that work on YouTube don't work on Reddit. Which is why you, it's nice that you can editorialize on Reddit a little bit. Mm. So this is a busy stream. Um, I wouldn't feel as comfortable running across. Good. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Uh, but the reason I bring it up is because someone posted your video. Walkie 22 Talkie posted your video, and the first comment is, This looks so much like clickbait, I'm not even willing to try it. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. My bad. <laughs> it's like, oh, well. Okay. Yeah, titles are hard. <laughs> yeah, maybe I might change them. Like, I literally, I, at one point on Reddit, I posted, uh, like, Waymo threading the needle for, like, an interesting kind of thing, and there was so much complaining that I took down the post and put it up with Waymo video clip, <laughs> and people still complained. I was like, okay, there's no winning Reddit, honestly. We're gonna pass the Trader Joe's parking lot that's really small. I wanted to go there, but I feel like it's not busy enough for anything interesting to happen. Fair. So maybe later. We'll see what it looks like as we go past here. That. Yeah. Because that one gets just packed. If you have a Waymo there, that I mean. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh, it looks mm. There's something going on there. Would it be worth to try? I think I did go a little bit too far with my latest title of thumbnail. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry, Reddit. <laughs> I, I wanted my, I just sent a reply to. It says it's worth your time. I, I was almost gonna add get over yourself to the end of it, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thanks, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Defending my honor on the subreddit. <laughs> <laughs> Seen that guy super early and slowed right down for him. Sweet. Very smooth, like the acceleration. This is tight. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh yeah. Did it just honk? I, was yep. that, that, that was us? that was the way. That was us. Oof! <laughs> First honk of the day. Playboy was like coming through. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> wow! I've never Trying had it see. honk. Oh wow. I've never got another film. It's only my second time hearing it. So the other time was in SF. You can just see how different the roads are and how like stupid they made some of them are. Really, yeah. Is it, is it Phoenix feels like it was made for cars from the very beginning. Because it's just grid. Total grid. Downtown is a little bit more pedestrianized though it might be in Phoenix. Like it's more walkable. And it's more difficult to drive in. There's nowhere really to park. I don't know. Yeah. I cannot get over the actually smart summon <laughs> name in the, in the comments right now. Oh, goodness gracious. Is it? I didn't actually look into it. Is it V12.5 or something? I have no idea. They're using? It's a new version. Yeah. Totally. Huh. It's not what I have. <laughs> oh, okay. I've got hard oh, point yeah. three. Did you get 12.5.1.3 or whatever? <laughs> no. Nope. Okay. I'm still on 12.3. Because I heard they started the rollout, but people were saying it was kind of a regression as well. Yeah, it's not as good as 12.3 apparently. Uh, uh, all the people that were really mad that you should have disclosed it was 12.3.6 up front. Like, 12.5 is so much better. It's in the title card, guys. <laughs> Chill out. I think 12.6 is going to be driverless. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah, flip the switch. <laughs> right there. Done. Although they are mapping that movie lot. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> the HD map. I, ca I can't wait for that. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be so funny. They're like, oh hey, we're driverless in a geofence. So because they have no permits yet for public roads, they have to do a movie set road, which is probably owned by the studio. <laughs> and they are mapping it too, so it's going to be like the dumbest service area possible. Pre-mapped geofence. Wait, where have I heard that before? <laughs> Hold on. It's the whole point that it's like a general system yeah. and they don't need a geofence and they don't need a HD map. <laughs> I don't want to hear any arguments from them. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the whole Mars block is so done. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, there's a guy in the road here. Is it gonna. This is an LA. This has previously situation. caused problems like before. That. Yeah. Oh, smooth. Yeah. My oh. biggest fear is it's slowing down enough for someone to jump on top. Yeah. <laughs> that could, could be a problem. That would be some yeah. fun content, but. <laughs> <laughs> content! We're, we're here for the content. Getting a little too chilly in here. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll bathe a little bit. Okay. Do you want to have it stop at the depot and like take a look around, or? Um, do you want to go up to the people who work there and go, "Hi, I'm Joel. <laughs> hey, what, how are you doing, guys? <laughs> take a quick peek at it. Is that yeah. A... 
I, I talked to people that I told us in, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, Depot, mm-hmm. and the guys that I talked to had never even been in a Waymo before. Wow. Like, they do all the operations, but they've never tried it. It's the same with the security yeah. officers. They had no idea how a lot of it worked or anything. I mean, that's fair enough. Yeah. yeah. They're a hired third party and everything. It's just a job, so, you know. Because the depot is close to an In-N-Out, so we could spin around yeah. the depot and then take it in and out. As long as uh, using up a stop is uh, is okay. Yeah, we have a but final stop with computer, so. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. Oh, so we're just going to jump out of the In-N-Out and then resume the ride later? Yeah, 30 minutes. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We might need to work on that. <laughs> uh, I mean, didn't you say there was an In-N-Out near the pizza so? No, there's not one. There's a McDonald's that's like 15 uh, minute walk. Okay. The in and outs right next to the CVS. It's like a five, four minute walk. So we can either get out of CVS or in and out. Ah. Whichever one, if you want to take a peek up the... I mean, I'd like to see... Well, if, if yeah. Joel would like to see it come down the ramp. That would, would be, definitely go up, yeah. That would be kind of funny. Yeah. Although I, um... I'll, optimally, I don't have... I don't... We minimize the amount of times we have to take it, take down and put up the camera setup over and over again. Oh yeah. Okay. But probably um, let's do the in and out as the final drop off. Yeah, that's good. But I, I'm I'm am willing to work with it because in San Francisco I did that. the whole setup and drop off, drop down kind of thing like seven times. So, but I've actually for today's uh, excursion I have added an entirely new. Uh, step to the setup which involves opening the trunk to reach the outlet so <laughs> although I am told there is also an outlet up here in the cabin somewhere I would pick my head forward while I don't ruin your video. that's okay I am um, I the it being in the back actually works okay um, I, yeah I just have to kind of uh, get used to it again. how many miles does it display have like left 127 uh, yeah, exactly. so we used up like 23 like of 150 them. 150 or 100? Yeah, I think so. I wonder if it'll go back to the depot once we uh, get out and um, go charge. <laughs> yeah. I doubt it, because I've seen lower ones. That's Something. true. But if it's like right there, I wonder if it tops itself off, cause just because it's close. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no! I didn't say that. <laughs> I, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it uh, charges a little. Okay, sure. I don't. It might be a hybrid. Who knows? Oh, uh, I know the Pacificas were plug-in hybrid. I don't know. Well, no, I'm joking. I think that base is fully electric. Oh, you're fully really okay. okay, got it. It is. Yeah, because I was about to say it is totally. Anyway. <laughs> well, that's a huge metro bike hub over there. I've never seen one. Ooh. I think it's where you like leave your bike. Nice. Is it? It's not one of those um, Japanese auto elevator bike things. I don't know. I hope uh, probably not. <laughs> yeah. Be cool though if it was. Here we are. Let's see this. Depot time. Almost Here we go. Don't forget your phone, keys, or bag. Oh my gosh. And any items in the trunk. <laughs> I just watched this on a YouTube video this morning. <laughs> I feel like I'm <laughs> now I'm here. That's. It's penguin time. We do slow little spin. Okay, but is the visualization doing do a, a blue, blue, a blue color. color? It's not doing the cloudy blue color. They watched this video and fixed it. <laughs> that was fast. Did it. Oh, hello. Would you look at that? I'm gonna take a picture for you guys. Oh, uh, Trip up yeah. It was a little busier up here when you came up here, huh? Yeah. So this is a public Destination lot. updated. Yeah. I wonder how many people have come up here. Okay. USB-C is open if you need it. I'm charged. So it looks like the guy who works here is chilling in his van. Because <laughs> <laughs> all the cars are plugged in. So what is that yellow symbol? It's actually that an ID number from the looks of it. Okay. It's interesting because the ID number was still showing when it was going down. Mm. Oh, hey, look, a new sticker. Healthy air. Healthy air for so all. So how many do they have? One, two... Got a really good view. He's wondering if he needs to plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> He's waved at us. Nice. <laughs> yeah, he oh. just watched the video this morning. <laughs> Look, there's one. There's another one. Oh, hey, what's up? That one has a low that battery. That one has a, uh, oh, it has a battery. Oh, oh it has yeah. a safety <laughs> driver. Oh, cool. 
crazy. <laughs> what the heck? That's fun. I like how they all know. They're all just looking at us. <laughs> <laughs> so the safety driver had a symbol too on top. Yeah. Interesting. I wonder. I wonder if ours did because it was in that spot. Like if it just shows up when it's in that spot, or if that, it's oh that could be part. Actually, yeah. dependent on whether or not it's actually starting a charge thing. Um, okay, we're gonna head to in and out. Nice. Oh, and then Peterson Museum is gonna be a problem, isn't it? Uh, crap. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, I, yeah, I don't. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this, this little thing. Yeah. We, uh, can, we can see if we can take transit to a, the Peterson yeah. if you want. I don't mind, um, like, taking up... I've, it doesn't really matter, honestly, taking down the cameras and putting them up again. Is Yeah. Um, this is decent enough. Just hope nobody needs to pull out of the driveway. Start honking. I'm going to need, like, <laughs> a minute. <laughs> okay. Are we... Maybe not open the door because it's going to scream at us if we take a time? Good point, actually, yeah. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's do this. Alright. Off we go. Oh, it made the noise. Heading to yeah. Peterson Automotive Museum. Please make sure your seat belt is fastened. For any questions, press the call support button to speak with a rider support agent. Yeah, I think I'm... That's gotta be really close. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh. Okay. I can't actually tell how far back it is anyway. Uh no, he's scoring. <laughs> All right, we are we are Jay Chilling oh. here. Oh, this is. Oh, no. <laughs> well, we are fricked. Uh... Wait, there's actually. Oh, it's being aggressive. Why is it going in front of it? <laughs> this is actually embarrassing. <laughs> this, th there's no one in this, right? There oh. we go. <laughs> there we go. But what if someone behind us? Yeah, there's. Oh, there's God. Somebody. Um, now is this a moat? Look at how the path, the path looks nice. <laughs> how far are we going to back up? <laughs> the nice thing is it can do it on that thing. Just as going there. Wow, this is my first time like taking a reverse side. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I can't get through that. Don't, don't do it. Okay, 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 okay. This is hilarious. <laughs> they think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> we just parallel parked casually. <laughs> wow, that was some great parallel parking. That was incredible. It's just casual. <laughs> yeah. It's so precise. Now what? Off we go again. Is it scared to go on that? It's thinking about it. See, what is that like? It's like the green is like the gradient is changing. I think that means if it's intending to actually go there. Right yeah. now. Is the path clear? I really am curious if that was remote or not. It was pretty fast. It would we are we are still interested in a uh, oh, that's remote. There we go. Yeah. In an indicator that says whether or not there's intervention going on. It would be really nice. <laughs> that was close. Yeah. Well that was a fun start to the trip. Yeah. Pretty nice. oh not again. No, this is not a no. good drive. No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on your. Uh, oh, thanks. Camera. Yeah, sorry, I didn't get out the spare USB C cable, but if you need the. I've got it, that's cool. Oh, okay, sweet. I have seven hours, well, four hours, and. Is that, is that the big beefy? Yeah. Okay, I also have my big beefy, I have so. A small. Yeah, where, where it looks like we're good on power for now. <laughs> I wonder if you can charge uh, the battery with the actual weight. You can, I've tried it. Oh, really? Okay. It doesn't like say it's not safe enough? No, uh, if you want to unplug yours for a second, we can see how many watts it is. Yeah, that's what is the definitive uh, wattage. Uh, Although it might not charge because it's 100%. No, it's not going to charge because it's 100%. I'll oh, charge the car. Fair enough. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll plug my phone in for a bit and then plug it back in and that should tell us. Well, that was interesting with the truck. Yeah. That's the title of fun now, right there. Exactly. <laughs> uh, sewage truck face off. <laughs> Who 
who backs down first. <laughs> Insane one v one battle versus driverless Waymo versus <laughs> gone wrong. I really wonder what would have happened if like another truck came behind us. <laughs> then we get boxed in. Like whoops. Well then one of the trucks must have had to move, you know. Would it play like the please make space sound? <laughs> Well, it seems to play that at the most random times, too. I don't know if, the, if it's similar here, but um, in Phoenix, it just it just plays that willy-nilly. Not like super willy-nilly. Do you ever have the wipers go on randomly? Yeah. Mm. yeah. I really wonder what's causing that. It's, at least one cause of it is other Waymos nearby setting off the tripping the rain sensor. Is it? Yeah, because the, the rain sensor is infrared sensitive because it has its own in LED on board, but I guess the Waymo's main LiDAR is powerful enough to trip it. Um, well, this is odd. <laughs> um, well, we, we made it. <laughs> what, is that? what the heck is all the entertainment billboards? <laughs> well, it's an entertainment city. Yeah. But, like, I've never seen anything like it. I'm just used to... Lawyers, I know I brought it up already, but we have a couple. <laughs> oh, look, one right there. Oh, yeah. There you go. I wonder if I came from the depot. I have a high feeling because it's CVS is right there. Because it, you said it's visible on the street view, just like barely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's hilarious. The fact that it's look, recent there's an, enough. There's a couple coming from them. Oh yeah. Oh. Sure enough. So well, that, that one has pretty... a low battery that I can't know when it's leaving. Oh goodness. It's pretty active. I think uh, there's an Apple office around here somewhere. Oh yeah, there is privacy. Oh, did you see the mattress? What mattress? The mattress, yeah. Apple mattress car. What? The, you know the, the Apple Autonomous Vehicle Program oh, test, the test vehicles? Course. Yeah, they have the big mattress on top with the sensors. I've seen the mapping cards for Apple now. Oh, map, Apple Maps is different, yeah. Because <clears throat> they have, like, they have little, they have three lighters on them. <laughs> like a little, uh... Is yeah. it trying to get in this lane? Oh, where? I'll, I'll flash it, actually, let me show you. Yeah. Joel, do you use the audio from the GoPro or from the rear camera? From the rear camera. Uh, it's cleaner. Do you, like, process it at all? Nope. I, maybe I could, but maybe I should. I would go back and listen to the Pacifica videos where I was the audio I used was off my phone Which was recording the screen camera right in front of my face. and It was like a lot clearer and nicer, but I don't actually have a lot of Extra money to throw around on a yeah. big lav mic. So maybe I, maybe I should I, I do have recording microphones But they require an audio interface and XLR cables and a laptop and stuff to set up. That would be too complex so, for this. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So I'm, I'm, I'm mostly just living the It sounds good, so life. Sorry. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> that does sound good. Yeah. The, the GoPro is good for filtering extraneous noise, but it's just more muffled. Uh, but it turns out, in the, I used the GoPro sound for the FSD videos. Oh, okay. So, because it actually equalized the, the volumes of our voices pretty well. Um, I'm glad the timing yeah. worked, because we'll go to the museum now, and then it should get busier at all the places. Yeah, that sounds good. It's like lunchtime. I do see what you mean by the whole neck thing. That's uh Yeah. Yeah. Because your neck's just kinda hanging there. <laughs> do you want me to try to put a headrest down, see if that helps? Uh it is better actually with the headrest down. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I think it should be okay. There you go, so yeah, that's nice. Okay. There's also like the up and down, I think height of the chair you can adjust. Oh yeah, like this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it is have you guys ever watched have you ever messed with all the seats in the windows and then watch them reset themselves oh, as yeah. the car pulls away? Yeah, I've done that. I, did, I used yeah. to not think so. I would always roll up the window because I thought you would just leave it on. Because I took um, one of my friends in when we for the first time and he sat in the front seat but he left the window open and as it drove away he was like, oh my god, I left the window open, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then he just watched it roll up and then he was like, oh. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. <laughs> It's like, oh, the entire thing is automated. Okay, <laughs> sure. But the driver's seat doesn't have to change on its own. Oh, okay. I haven't noticed that. What do you mean? The, yeah. If you were to like put this all the way back and leave, it would stay. Oh, yeah. Because I have seen the driver's seat in some weird positions before. Mm -hmm. 
Although I'm wondering from that gas station video, I think I when I got the same car, I did have to move the driver's seat again, but I don't actually remember. I have to go back and check it. Uh, uh, let's see. Do we know how it um, detects you touch the steering wheel? Is it a camera or is it an actual like it's gonna sensitive? Be, like the torque is. Like, it's got to know what position the wheel is in, right? And if the sensor feels any resistance or something. I don't know. It's a good point, actually. Because every video I've seen of people getting flagged, it actually flags them if you slow it down before they actually touch it. Oh. So I'm really trying to assume it's like that top camera. It's got to be that, I guess. Because um, my, my uncle, I was riding with my uncle for the first time, and he went out and slapped the horn. And I was like, no, don't do that. You're banned. And, and nobody ever called in or something, so I was like, "Phew!" Did the horn go off? No, no, it didn't. It didn't say anything. Oh, okay. But yeah, so when I say Apple mattress cut, oops. Dang yeah, it. but I don't think we've actually seen those on the roads. Those are our renderings. No, not not this one. This one. Uh, the, the Lexus with all the sensors on top of it. Looks like the Waymo with the new lidar dome when they were testing. Yeah, it's the uh, because it, but they just killed the program. So. Can we slow down? Oh, okay, we're getting a little bit of a squeeze here. <laughs> Gonna give that guy some space. <laughs> that guy knows. <laughs> He's seen it before. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, it's a friendly driver. I've seen it let a ton of people in, but are they exiting like a parking lot? Mm. Compared to like humans just driving by. LA drivers in specific. <laughs> <laughs> in yeah, it's my favorite. Nicely mapped. Yep. So I'm sorry if you can hear the ice from my drink in the video. I, am. I have done that before in the gas station video when I got the drink in the gas station and I just had ice the entire time. And I was like, oh dear. It's, it's okay. <laughs> I might actually experiment with trying to filter out the, the air conditioner noise. And if I do that, it'll probably get rid of the ice too. <laughs> So. I actually saw your Easter egg in the video before you texted me. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, was the, the unedited the, cut have yeah, an Easter egg in it? Oh. <laughs> I've just done it again. I just put my drink on myself. Because oh. <laughs> no. I went over that speed bump and I was like mid sip. <laughs> I wasn't looking where we were going. Oh, this is brutal. <laughs> okay, we kind of carved around that jogger a little bit. It nicely done. Got a guy on a scooter here too. Hey, that, he, he knows that, that scooter. Yeah. He's not even holding up. So yeah, then what is this slowing down for? Yeah. Just little bits of random something or other. Yeah. Right in there. Nicely done. Whenever I voice over one of my videos, I feel like I need different variations of things to say, like, nicely done, Yeah. good job, well done. <laughs> I don't want to see you saying the same thing over and over again. I think I've, that ship has sailed for me. <laughs> <laughs> but my, my most difficult one is either next up or coming up now. Or oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like when, when you transition. Take a look at this. <laughs> Take a look at this. That's pretty good. The truck, though, that's going to be very interesting for people to see if you're reversing for the truck. Yeah, I don't know if I've seen it reverse that far before. I don't know if, like, FSD would be able to do that when they become quote-unquote driverless. Yeah. I mean, right now it can't even back up at all. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it can park, but... Oh. Oh. When it in full self driving, like, on the roads, oh, I see. it will not back up. Ever. So it disengages. Oh, wow. It doesn't disengage the system. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like sometimes it it will put the wheel into a position where it wants to reverse. You can see it. It's like yeah. if I huh. had a reverse button, I would use it right now. Oh, but interesting. It's not allowed to do it. Everything's gonna change next month. <laughs> ten, ten, everybody, get ready. <laughs> Two weeks. <laughs> Two weeks. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs>